Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort to be on the move over to Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. This is where we're gonna start our excursion and we're gonna end up in Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom, where we'll spot tropical birds, tiki gods, and colorful flowers that come to life in a swinging South Seas musical extravaganza. Stay tuned because we're going to discover the numerous tropical locations where you can indulge in the legendary frozen treat known as Dole Whip. Celebrate the spirit of the South Pacific style and culture at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Experience a tropical atmosphere where you're immersed in outdoor island ambiance. Now let's proceed into the lobby. Over in this direction is the reception area with the front desk for check-in. We're now inside of the Great Ceremonial House. It has a three-story high atrium, a rich tropical color palette, and a warm sense of hospitality that welcomes guests to the Polynesian adventure that awaits them. Here's the tiki god known as Maui, born of the gods, lived among the people of the South Seas. His pranks and tricks provided the islanders with a constant source of new tales. At the Boutique gift shop, say aloha to an impressive selection of items like tropical trinkets, Hawaiian shirts, surfwear, and hotel logo merchandise. This shop tends to carry higher-end fashions, and it's kind of like a boutique, hence the name Boutique. Now let's go back outside. Located just outside of the Great Ceremonial House is the Pineapple Lanai. This is where you can savor a taste of island sunshine with some Dole Whip and enjoy traditional soft serve swirls and floats. Let's have a look at the refreshing menu offerings. This tropical location offers desserts like a 50th Celebration Dole Whip Pineapple, a 50th Celebration Dole Whip Lime, a Dole Whip soft serve, a Dole Whip with rum floater, a pineapple float, and a pineapple float served in a souvenir tiki sipper. Paddle down and make a splash at the lava pool, which features a towering volcano, a waterfall, and a thrilling 142 foot long water slide. It's the perfect place to splash the day away at this pool with its zero depth entry point, similar to a beach that slopes gently into the water. There's also the Kiki Tiki Splash Play area for the junior explorers where they can have fun in the sun. Near the Polynesian longhouses, the exotic oasis of palm trees and lush vegetation continues throughout the grounds of the resort with white sand beaches, torchlit walkways, and waterfalls. 
The resort's position on the shores of the Seven Seas Lagoon gives a prime location from which to view the nightly fireworks at the Magic Kingdom, as well as the nighttime electrical water pageant. Get where you're going in Grand Disney style and enjoy a leisurely cruise aboard the Walt Disney World water transportation. Take in the scenery and relax with welcome breezes as you sail across the Seven Seas Lagoon over to the Magic Kingdom. the touch point at the guest entrance to gain access. We're now inside Magic Kingdom Park, where storybook fantasy becomes everyday reality. Now let's head over to Adventureland. We made it to Adventureland. As Walt Disney once said, here is adventure, here is romance, here is mystery. Tropical rivers flowing silently into the unknown, the unbelievable splendor of exotic flowers, the eerie sounds of the jungle, with eyes that are always watching. This is Adventureland. See a true piece of Magic Kingdom history here at the Sunshine Tree Terrace and the home of the beloved little orange bird. In fact, you could see the original orange bird tucked in the terrace from your own perch at the counter. You could also sip on some sunshine and other citrus delights at this counter service refreshment bar. Let's take a gander at the mouth-watering menu items. Sunshine Tree Terrace offers snacks like fried pot stickers and they also offer multiple soft serve items like a chocolate and vanilla soft serve cup, a chocolate soft serve cup, a Dole Whip orange cup, an orange cream soft serve cup, and a vanilla soft serve cup. In addition, they also offer some floats like the extremely popular I Love You float top with popping candy. The Orange Bird is an original Walt Disney World character and has been gaining popularity ever since his debut in 1971. The little citrus mascot is quite popular among Disney fans and even has his own mural. The mural can be found to the left of the Sunshine Tree Terrace's counter service windows. It depicts the orange bird holding a citrus swirl on one leafy wing, surrounded by multiple orange blossoms. Along with the smiling sun shining above him and love in his mind, this painting is a true celebration of Florida's citrusy roots. Leaky Tiki statues are also located here in Adventureland, near the Jungle Cruise, and occasionally spray water and mist, 
Hence the name, Leaky Tiki's. They are a good option to refresh during a bright and sunny day. If you're feeling adventurous, stop by the Aloha Isle Refreshments at this hideaway counter service here in Adventureland. Dole out a smile with the much sought after popular frozen treat, Dole Whip. It's one of the most beloved Disney treats. Let's have a peek at the snackable menu offerings. Aloha Isle Refreshments offer snacks like the crooning flower, the tropical serenade, the pineapple float, the raspberry swirl float, and they also offer a coconut cup. In addition, they have the pineapple Dole Whip cup as well. The Sunshine Pavilion here in Adventureland was originally sponsored by the Florida Citrus Growers and opened with Walt Disney World. Tropical Serenade was an opening day attraction when the Magic Kingdom opened on October 1st, 1971. The primary show was similar to the original Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room at Disneyland. The Magic Kingdom version, however, had a different pre-show featuring a waterfall over a doorway that opened to reveal Clyde and Claude, the humorous pair of toucans discussing the show atop a tropical tiki-like statue. Tropical Serenade closed during the fall of 1997 and reopened in the spring of 1998 as the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management with hosts Zazu from The Lion King and Iago from Aladdin. In early 2011, after a small fire forced the temporary closing of the attraction, the third version of Magic Kingdom's Enchanted Tiki Room opened during the summer of 2011 with the original show, although there were some alterations for pacing. The show was retitled to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. We're invited to croon along with the Tiki Room birds, Jose, Michael, Pierre, and Fritz, before they fly away, along with the Tiki Gods and colorful flowers that come to life in a theater in the round attraction. Now let's go through the entrance and make our way to the pre-show. There's so much to do and see at Magic Kingdom Park. Your entire family is going to enjoy every single magical moment. Now it's time for a Magic Kingdom flashback.
here we are in Adventureland, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. With that said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.